Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 8th Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. In today's topic, I'm going to show you how to copy either individual cells or ranges of cells uh, from one section of this sheet to another or to another worksheet within the same project. And we'll jump right in here. So what I'm going to do, let me just create a couple. Let me do this. Let me just create a couple uh, cells here. Let me copy the... Let me, drag this down. So I filled in A1 through A6 there with some uh, basically a sequence of numbers. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to go to the developer tab. I'm going to go to Visual Basic and you'll notice over here so I, I have an empty window here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and do insert module and in that module I'm going to go ahead and create a new program here I'm going to call it uh, we're going to call it copy All right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just in this case I'm just going to copy from cell a1 to copy down to I don't know a20 so what I want to do here is I'm going to copy a range okay whether it's a single cell or a range of cells it's going to be a range in VBA so I'm going to copy from a1 and so that syntax is range and then parentheses and then you and then you put it in quotes the cell and or range that you want to copy and then um, what I want to do is I'm going to put a dot and then you're going to get your options what to do here so I'm going to do a copy and you can just type COP and you'll see it auto fill in when you get to the right one just hit tab or you can type it out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type range where I want to place it and then I'm going to place it down on let's do a 20 like I said a 20 okay and it's that simple so what I'm going to do is copy from this cell down to this cell so I'm going to run that and there you see it put it down there what I want to do next is share with you how you would copy a range of cells so one interesting thing here is um, you know you can copy this range right here A1 to A6 as an example so I'm going to go ahead and do that so I'm going to change this to A6 and copy it down so let's see what happens you see what happens it copied it from A1 through A6 um, down to A20 to A25 alright so that's probably um, helpful if you have a so that's going to be helpful if you have a certain range of numbers or range of um, cells that you know are always going to be um, your values are always going to be in those cells what's more likely to happen is one day you might have um, you know six numbers here and another day you might have eight numbers here another day you might have four numbers here so I'm going to show you how to work with the dynamic range I'm going to delete this out of here I'm going to go back into Visual Basic and now what I want to do is instead of copying um, that range A1 to A6, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy a dynamic range. And how I do that is I use the syntax range and then I put this range in parentheses. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put that one there. And then what I do is and then after this A1, I put, and that's your that's your starting place, A1. And I'm going to go ahead and do range. A1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type end. I put in parentheses. Oh open up parentheses and then you see what I have several options there. I have XL down, XL to left, XL to right, and XL up. So I'm going to do XL to down. Again I can highlight it and hit tab. And then I'm going to do I'm going to delete these out of here just so I can walk through it with you. Dot copy. And then what I want to do is where do I want to copy it to? I want to copy it to range do A20 again. Okay, so what that's going to do is, whoop, uh, I have a 
mistake there. Let's see what I did wrong there. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to do debug. Do step into. And now you can see there's some sort of a problem here and it says compile error, expected list, separator, or, or the closed parentheses. So what I'm going to do is backtrack from here and see that I have you know, open paren, open parenthesis, close, open, close, open, close. So it looks like I'm missing a close here. So if I do that, you see it fixes it. I'm going to go ahead and click run. And you see what happened here. It copied that range down to here. Now what I've done here with this Excel down, and you can use the to right or to left, whichever direction of the sheet you want to go in. But let me delete this out of here. And now, rather than copying a standard range, I'm going to go ahead and just put in more in that range. Okay, and I'm going to show you what that does. So now, again, I'm copying from range A1 down to wherever it ends. And so what that's going to look for is an opening in the, in the, um, you know, the cells. So it's going to go down here and it's going to see, okay, I have, I have data or values in cells A1 through A8 and then A9 is empty so that's where I stop at A8. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and there you have it. So now you can see it put 10 through 80 down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time but now I'm going to get rid of these four and now I'll run it one more time and you'll see what will happen. It'll just do the 10 through 40. So that'll let you work with the dynamic ranges much easier. I'm going to show you how to um, select an area and format it. So rather than this time we did copy, I'm going to do select. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do, let's do selection dot font dot bold is equal to true. Okay, so now I'm going to run that and you see what will happen. It takes those cells there and it makes them bold. Okay, you could format it, you could make it um, italicized, you could do lots of different things with it. So that's what I want to share with you today. Um, please subscribe and also um, feel free to uh, visit my website at www.10minutetrain.com and thanks for joining. Take care.